Oh, what? It doesn't give you change. It actually just kicks it over. Crap. Alright, so our bikes are nice and clean now, fresh, um, and we couldn't help but notice that there was a, a brewery right next door. So, we thought we'd do the, the common thing, the common courtesy thing, which is pay the brewery a visit and um, maybe partake in one of their beverages. So, uh, what do you reckon, Nick? Why does my bike just keep leaking? I make a vlog of God. Vlog. I had a chick fully just be like, you look like a character out of Mad Max. Yes, that's been a theme of the whole trip, man. That and Predator. And um, what else? If we did the trip with a Predator helmet? I could have done it. We, like, totally, I have a Predator helmet, you, you guys there. And so I fully got the outfit. I got the whole thing now. Okay, so we, um, it's like, it's quarter to one. So it was a, it was a late start. Watched our bikes. We're gonna go for a mad little cruise around the lighthouse, Byron Bay, the most eastern point of Australia, I think. I'm pretty sure it is, hey? Uh, I believe so. Most eastern point of Australia. So we're at the most western point. At the most eastern point. Um, Australia? Yes. Uh, we don't actually have a place to stay yet tonight, so that's gonna be interesting. We've booked a comm for Monday night, so we're sweet. Tuesday night we're camping, tomorrow night we're camping, tonight we're camping. So we've only got one more comm place. Yay. One mile a day to recharge and actually have a shower and crap. So, tail end, man. Got the tail end. Cheers to uh, around the backyard. It's all about them, man. It's all about the fans. Cheers to the fans. And cheers to you, bro, sir. Oh, you give something to drink? <laughs> Jinkwe. Jinkwe. <laughs> Basically, Kyle's the absolute legend. He fully mapped this out on Google Maps, this awesome loop around all the six spots here in Byron Bay, or the, you know, the, this area, whatever it's called. So yeah, it's like a two hour freaking run around. So let's give you a quick little smash around that. And, um, and then we're gonna start looking at camping. We're still not really sure where we're going. They're good, life on the edge, baby. Look at that, eh? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wowzers, man. How sick is this? <laughs> there we go! How mad. Like, what a flat beach. It's so calm. You just chew it out. What are you doing? Jesus Christ, man. I, uh. This yeah, close. I saw it. I saw On it. the front brake. Yeah. That was insane, man. Like, what was that? Oh, wow. Not even looking, man. Whoo. Hard as a million miles an hour right now. He was so close, man. I thought he was gonna hit it. I actually thought he was gonna hit it. That size bike, with all that weight on the back. That could have been a drastic into the tour, man. Far out. 
Oh, it makes me feel sick. Oh, oh, he's lucky. He's just lucky. Yeah, shake it out, brother. Pull every. Pull over. Holy crap! I can't believe they. I can't believe she did it. No. Nah. I know. I'm full on the front brakes. Yeah. If I had a single caliper, I would have been running right the back. Yeah, for sure. I was on the front brakes, not even looking. I was doing like 30, 40, coming down. Wow. I have to dive. Did she see you at all? Nothing. Bro. Nothing. Nothing. Jesus. Oh my god, I'm so blind. Wow. Just crept across the wall. I know. Holy I know. Oh my god. Dude, I would have just went right to the back. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh man, all the weight on the back. I would have rolled everything off. Yeah, it would have been done. Man, that was, that's so hectic. That's just, I hate that stuff though. It just gives me, it makes me feel sick, especially when they just don't, she didn't even look the entire time. Like, she didn't even know that just happened. Oh, making me sick, making me feel so sick. I feel like I should move on back. Let me just fall a little bit. Uh, we're heading back home now, but we've come from around the whole New South Wales. Did the whole thing. It was good. There was a bit of an experience. Get that every time we stop at a survey, man. Every single time. It's good though. I don't mind chatting to locals, especially locals that ride. They get it. They understand. Some of them are pretty kooky. But anyway, I'm gonna drink this. Nick's gonna chill out a little bit. We're gonna have a breather. Just absorb what the hell just happened then. And then yeah, we'll just continue on this relaxing ride, baby. The giant put on, look, the giant put on. They're five dollar skaters. Hello oh, Rosie, he's looking at the beers, I'm looking at the bloody prawn. And Aussies do not call them shrimp. Toss another shrimp on the barbie, mate. It is not a thing. No, 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 no. Yeah. Look at that. Look at bloody that. That looks sick. No camping. Standard. That would be perfect, man. This out there, chill. No shooting. What? No nothing. No fun. Don't have fun. Don't connect with nature. All right, we need a plan. We just gotta work out a plan. All right, so we've had a mad change of plans. So we were gonna camp out, but um, seeing as though the boys are just absolutely demolished, like, I just feel like I haven't even cracked waking up yet. I'm so just finished. My body's just like, let me sleep, please. So we just nabbed up in a com in Lismore. Um, that's the way we're gonna go home anyway. So we thought we might as well just get a head start on tomorrow, rest up really well tonight. We're gonna have to ride into this delicious sunset, which is totally fine by me. And then that way tomorrow we're gonna be fully just energized, boom, charged. We're gonna ride through ridiculous rainforest. We're going back through those turns, those massive, sexy curves. And then we're gonna try to set up camp finally, nice and early. Uh, so that then we can go for an explore and just like check out some new things without our gear on the back. I want a mad like camping experience with you guys, you know? So that's the plan. Um, but yeah, whew, batteries, man. You gotta listen to the body, especially on bikes, and then just Nick having that. It's just sort of a wake up call, like holy crap, if you're not on it, like if he wasn't on it, if he broke just a little bit later, he would just smack straight into that damn car. So it's full on, it's, it's full on. Resting is important. So I feel like we should do that so we can get home nice and safe. There's only a few days to go. But yeah, that is where we're at. Uh, so let's, let's do it, bro. Let's ride into this ridiculous sunset that is happening right now we're gonna to ride to Lismore it's like 45 minutes um, enjoy the journey baby it's gonna be a good one see you tomorrow
Look at this man. Son, I love you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in my hometown. My hometown, Australian hometown. Lismore, baby, that's where I first started. Alright, let's do this. Lismore! Get it! Grant this back, baby! Grant this back! Woo! I don't even need a GPS, man! I know this place like the back of my hand, not just because it's only like four streets. <laughs> Alrighty, so for those of y'all that don't know, it's probably everyone. I always dreamed of coming to Oz, and the way I did it was through my university exchange. Lismore, this was a crack of a time. Absolutely nothing to do here, but the people that I met and the experiences that I had is initially what brought me back here to Australia. So, uh, why it's kind of special, and why we're going up the up the bowl here in Lismore, because Lismore is shaped like a bowl, because the year that I was here in 2017, uh, Lismore flooded. One of the biggest floods, I'm pretty sure all of you guys saw it on TV worldwide. Um, it was wild, but I was in here, I was in South Australia drifting. So. Ah, yes, this road, man, my first day, I walked it down this whole road and was like, Jesus Christ, I have to walk this every day to school? What is this? So I got here and I was like, bro, where am I right now? Like, this is a disaster. I thought I was gonna be in a metropolitan business, for business institute, like, they marketed it so well that I just got conned. I was like, dude, where am I right now? This place is horrible. Everything closes at five. This is ridiculous. But I knew this road was a crack and I always come back to ride it. Oh yeah, memories, baby, woo! But yeah, so we're, we're currently in the campus of Southern Cross and Lismore. So even if you don't care about motorcycles and you just want to come here on exchange and you want to see what look what the campus looks like, you're welcome! I don't want my classes up there. That's the library there. That's the campus. That's all it is. It's just this. That's all it is. But where I lived most of the time was at the SCU Fitness Center. If I wasn't there, I was slugging beers at the pub. But I spent so much time there, it's crazy. That saved my experience. We're gonna head up to the residence right now and meet my mate Orion, who was actually the dude to uh, let me ride his, I think it was a DR250, because he had two dirt bikes at the time, and he's like, and I always wanted to ride motorcycles, and he's like, yeah man, <clears throat> let's get on it. So I rode, I rode around the, the parking lot there with my, my flip flops and my thongs, ridiculous. Uh, and then we went out for a ride, and that's when I did my first moto vlog ever with uh, my iPhone cables. That's hilarious, that's still up there, if you guys want to watch that, have a, have a laugh. Put it right there. There he is! How you going, legend? Let's go, brother. How you going, man? Rob, Orion, Orion, Rob. Woo! Alrighty, man, we got Orion leading the pack here. We're ducking through Lismore on our way to Durango, so I thought I'd hop on the gram and be like, Ryan, my man, let's go for a ride if you're still here. And he still is here after three years. Um, he's just wrapping up, gonna be moving out to Newcastle, so you'll see a lot more videos of. We're in, Orion and I ripping up um, Old Pack, which will be gnarly. Oh yeah, baby! The best part about this is, is I have no idea where we're going. Boy's going up for a crack. Caution, narrow winding road. Gotta love it. Stop. 
I have to let, I was like, I have to let you pass you to smash through all this. I'm just slugging this thing around. all the this full-blown swimming hole that everyone comes to and it's like you have to get through all this stuff it's so good oh, man oh I can't wait to go for a swim at a camp spot tonight oh my goodness just cooking today is fire actual fire like look at this I didn't get any footage of the watering hole just because there were kids and there were families down there. I'd seen three dudes come out of the bush, one with a camera, dressed like a bloody criminal. It was so tempting to just get in there, but we had to move. That was my brozzy. That was sick. That was so good. Thanks heaps for that, bruh. See you, Lord. What a guy. Orion, if you're watching this, you're a lord, you're a gentleman. Thank you so much for showing us around. That area was absolutely stunning. It was time for us to embark on our four and a half hour trek to Cod Hole Campground. With the heat wave passing through with temperatures rising over 45 degrees Celsius, this was a struggle for us. An hour and 15, uh, 20 minutes. This is getting hotter and hotter. It is like, it's relentless. Hot air just smashing against you. Gatorade's in us. Bloody hell, man. It is cooking my arms. Literally, the heat of the wind is just blasting hot. Alrighty, we're up through Dorigo here. Dorigo Mountain. The full twisties, man. Big uphill climb on our way to the campsite. It's going to end up turning to dirt again, but this time, thankfully, not a cloud in sight. Oh, actually, there's lots of clouds, but it's <laughs> they're high clouds, not storm clouds. Not like last time. But I'm out of these twisties, man. Ooh, that's so good. Just chugging. We're loaded up with so much water. I'm all pushed forward on the seat as well. Definitely not comfortable. But that's what we had to do. G'day mate. How beautiful is this forest though? Wow. It's just this is how it is all the way. Hope Nick's alright. Rough terrain. Be cautious of bumps. Whoa! Are we catching Rod? What? Oh there he comes, he's coming. Some beautiful turns though, wow. Be mad if I had no gear on the back. It's got so much extra weight, you can't really, can't really hook into it as much as you normally would. Oh, this is, look at the map man, that is cool. We've got good times ahead. Still got an hour and 15 till we hit the campsite. This is so nice man. Nice and easy. Check my water still there. It is. Oh, the fauna. Far out. Oh, I love this. This is nice, man. Tell you what, my crankcase is cooking. Hey, I can feel the heat coming through my boots as my ankles press against the crankcase a little bit. I just feel a burn a little. It's just such a hot day. Everything is on fire. The helmet's on fire. My clothes are on fire. Every time we rock it up to a BP, we're just standing in the in the freezers for a little bit. <laughs> it's just trying to cool off. I mean, as soon as we get to this campground, man, I'm just gonna jump straight in the damn river or lake or whatever the hell it is. Cool right off, and then just set up camp. Look at that, man. What? 
That's insane. What a stunning piece of scenery. It's like every time we've camped, it's just been get there quickly, unpack, quickly set up, and then I don't get to actually enjoy the whole camping experience. Because, I mean, you want to set up camp, but you just want to just chill. You just want to unwind, play the head, sit in nature a little bit. Just relax. Just relax, baby. You guys seeing this, man? Wow. Might have stopped in here and uh, wait for old Nicky Boy. See where he's at. In the shade. Ah, oh, this is nice. Whoa, look at the trail. What is this? Oh, I can hear him. He's gone, alright. Yeah, cool. Alright, sick. I can go a little bit harder. Rob was probably like, oh, I'm gonna walk away from this guy. I think I'm. Haha! <laughs> bye bye, sucker! Oh, there, there he goes, on his straight. And now I'm just gonna be up his butt. <laughs> Go on, Nick. What do you got, son? What do you got? Oh, I don't wanna push him. Rob on my ass! Get off my ass! I know I'm a nice ass, but get off it! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Just full on taunting him. Ah! Rob's like, get out of my way, you dog! On the inside, oh, it's got him! Oh, it's got him! Ah! No! No! <laughs> oh, he Pressured me and pushed me outside wide. Ah, oh, the dual nuisance. Oh, it's like you're flying off edge, you're far out. Scrapey on the pegs, just nicking him, just ever so slightly. That was a big scrape just then. I don't know, he was, I didn't know he was going for it, that's sick. So when I just cruise, that means he's sort of just, he's just there. <laughs> Here he goes, dead straight. <laughs> There's Terran and you on again soon. Try to get as much of a lead on Rob as I can before he comes powering through those corners. That's a sharp one, yeah, you don't want to go into that, mate. God damn it, those steady lights on Rob's bike like a freight train on my ass. Very, very intimidating to say the least. Try to gap him in these sections if I can. Oh, and he's on it! Man! I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Ah, shit! Ah, oh, he's gonna take me here. I know he will. There we are, the front brakes. There we are, the front brakes. This is where I can get him on the inside. <laughs> oh, not again! <laughs> oh, mate. Oh. I've got overtaken twice for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, just fully scraping peg around, man. Oh, I'm heavy breaking into these. Oh, no. There's, there's so much top heavy weight. This thing doesn't want to turn, bro. Oh. Literally the best road we've ever ridden. After all that riding, all that heat, we had about another hour to go on what was one of the most dustiest dirt roads we've come across so far. Oh, look at it. Like, what the hell's going on with these plants? They're covered in dust. They're just caked in dust. Whoa, it's all like strangely like white. But these dirts, these roads are fine. This is nice. These are good dirt roads. It's still just hectic just because we've got all our gear on the back. It's pretty, you know, it's heavy. I got lots of gear. Ah, sack. And then this happened. Not ideal considering that the closest shop supplying water was about 80 kilometers away. Oh, they always broke my waters. Oh, no. Are you serious? I found one of the waters, went back to find the other, could not find it we at all. We need you. You are life. So as it turned out, Nick lost one of his as well. So he only had two bottles of water. It just makes you realize how much you take running tap water for granted. Whoa, look at that river. 
This is awesome! Sandflies, they sting you out of little, the little gerbils. The little gerbils. Ah. We just had the best swim ever. It was the most refreshing thing since this whole trip, I think. I feel like. Today was a scorcher, as I have described a million times. So reaching this was the absolute titties. Um, and what's more of the absolute titties is that our barks and crap are just here. Like, like look at this. Is this crazy? Ha! Oh, you know what else is awesome? I'm about to make some dinner. Let me show you how we do this. All right, so check this little thing out. Like this thing's tiny. This is a small lighter, and like it's you know it's the size of this. It packs down into nothing. It's sick. Um, so then you put this lid just screws on. Unscrew that. And you just got metho inside. And all you have to do is get a little. Whoop, and that is on fire. And you just give it a little bit. It's pretty much an invisible flame right now. But that, you see these little holes? I can definitely feel the heat off it, holy moly. There's all these little holes. You just give it like 30 seconds and then it ends up being as good as a, a little cooker, like a little gas burner. Give it a minute. Um, and for now, we've got, you see our collapsible jug. So let me just fill that little guy up. Now the rubber doesn't melt, we have, we've discovered, which is pretty amazing. Boom, set that on there and um, that's it. That'll boil up. That'll boil up in uh, no time. Which is pretty incredible, considering like how small everything packs down. So good. We have our, our dehydrated food. It's not like crazy good, but it is full of, you know, nutrition. Um, I'm having Mexican chicken tonight, a little bit spicy. Pour the water in, let it cook for like 15 minutes. Full on meal, right there. That's where I'm chilling out. That's Nick's bike there. That's where Nick's gonna be chilling out. Nice and separated. No one's going to be keeping each other awake. My bikes are right there. And then we got all this just to sort of chill out and have a little look at. How good does all that look like? Like what a place. This is the best camping situation we've had so far. Especially because we got here nice and early and we could just, we could just relax. We could just chill out and just unwind. I'm already getting like heaps sleepy. I'm just come, becoming nice and, nice and relaxed. Um, what a day. It was a big day. It's always been a big day. Every day's been a big day. Um, all right, so I'm gonna wait for this kettle to boil. Gonna make my food, gonna eat it. Just chill out, have a couple of chippies, and um, watch the sun go down, and then just fall asleep at like eight o'clock. How good's that gonna be? <sighs> See you guys in the morning. There's one day! Ah. All you have to do is We were so close! All you had to say was, no, please hold! Are you I can't even wait to say it! <laughs> I wouldn't stand there! I've positioned myself here! What's That's the matter? Place. Don't park there! You see that? The big black tree! What's the matter? How are you calm? What? <laughs> yeah. Heck, okay. Was there lights behind you? No. I swear I saw flashing lights behind you. <laughs> 